Welcome to Platform 9 Shorts. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Kubevert UI. So we're going to get started with the new wizard by creating a new virtual machine. We're going to name it, and then we're going to select a namespace of default for it. Then we're going to move on to the storage section. Now in the storage section, we're going to select read write once because that's what our storage class offers. We're going to select 15 gigs, and then we're going to use Ceph block. Now we're going to paste in a zero disk image, just a cloud image. And what's going to do is expand that into the volume. So we're going to use four vCPUs and four gigs of RAM here, and then we'll hit next and go into the network section. For the network, we're going to leave everything default with Masquerade. And then in this section for CloudInit, we could paste in CloudInit scripts or modify the VM with that. Um, in the advanced section, we're going to get to look at the YAML for the configuration, and we can either edit it or copy it to use later. All right, now we're going to go ahead and create the virtual machine. Now this does not launch the virtual machine, it just creates it, because we're going to need to start it to make a virtual machine instance. Now we're going to take a look at the VM on the CLI, and we'll see that it is status provisioning. So what we need to do is check the importer pod to see what's going on to make sure that the image is getting converted into the volume. So we'll look at the logs for the importer pod, and we'll see that it's converting the disk image into the volume right now. And then once that's finished, we can go back and we can start the virtual machine to where we have a virtual machine instance. All right, so let's look at the PVC. Everything's bound. Let's describe it. All right, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and go back to the UI, and we're going to start the virtual machine. And then what we can do after that is go into the virtual machine instances section, and we should have a running virtual machine. Now we can check here in a minute and get the IP address that we can SSH to to check that the virtual machine's running. So we're going to get 10.20.190.228. We're going to SSH with Ceros at that IP address. And then we're going to put in the password. And then we're just going to show that we're into the virtual machine. And type your name, and then it's Linux. All right, so after that, we're going to go back into the UI and take a look at the storage section. So we're going to have a new video coming soon about the storage section, which has got a whole new UI with the 5.4 release. We can see the persistent volume here. And then we can take a look at the persistent volume claim and see that that's set up correctly, too. All right, and that's it. Thanks for joining us today. Um, we should have more videos out soon. Uh, keep tuned, and if you liked what you see, go ahead and subscribe.